Let's make a cord rosary. There are three basic types of cord rosary. There is the one with minimal knots using spacers. There is the one with knots instead of spacers, as you see right here between the Our Fathers on the first one. In case you didn't notice, there's spacers on the Our Fathers. And then the third kind of cord rosary is a rosary that's made entirely out of cord, uh, no beads. The beads are actually just uh, different sized knots. You'll see that there's smaller knots for the Hail Marys and larger knots for the Our Fathers. These take the longest of them to make. This takes the next longest because of the number of knots. And this one is the quickest, takes about 15, maybe 20 minutes total to make. These are the ones I'm going to show you how to make right now. Uh, this particular type is called a mission rosary. And their main purpose is to be given away to homeless, um, to people in the hospital, people that need a rosary or want a rosary or whatever. They're made out of six by nine oval beads for all both the Our Fathers and the Hail Marys, and then four millimeter uh, round beads uh, for the spacers. Uh, these particular ones, I've you can use two colors for uh, the Hail Mary and a different color for the Our Father, or you can use all the same color. It's up to you. I've just chosen blue and white. Um, and then the, the spacer beads I've chosen are, uh, they're plastic, but they look like crystal and they're clear and faceted. The beads you use can be oval, round, clear, colored, wooden, stone, whatever you want to make. Uh, the only th the thing they have in common is the fact that they uh, have a cord running through them instead of a wire. The equipment you're going to need now is, well, not necessarily all equipment. You're going to need 59 beads. Um, as I told you before, I've used two colors, one for the Hail Marys and one for the Our Fathers. Um, I've got them separated out into um, what I need. There's five things of 10 beads um, for Our Fathers. And then for the pendant, there's uh, three Hail Marys and two Our Fathers. I've just got them separated out for easy. So you're going to need 59 beads. Again, these particular ones are four, or I'm sorry, six by nine millimeter. And then you're going to need the spacer beads. And these are, again, four millimeter. You're going to need a crucifix. You're going to need a centerpiece, and you're going to need about 50 inches of cord. Now this cord is made specifically for rosaries. It's what they call bonded cord, and mine I uh, get is from Our Lady Rosary Makers. It's a size 9 bonded, bonded meaning it's coated, uh, kind of waxy a little bit. so. Uh, it, it makes it easier to like to, if you need to twist it up or what not, what not. Um, and you'll need, the best thing would be, first off, you're going to need a lighter. These I got at Dollar Tree, they're, well, a dollar, and they're butane, and you can use those, since this cord is nylon, you can use it to seal the end of the cord so that it doesn't fray on you. The other thing that you don't absolutely have to have but is nice to use is fingernail polish. The reason you use that is because you are going to be feeding the end of this cord through uh, th things like the beads and such and they need to be a little bit stiff. 
Now with the nylon cord you could possibly you know lightly heat this and then twist it up really really tight and it comes out kind of stiff but the best thing would be the fingernail polish uh, basically you just dip it in the bottle about that much of it let it completely dry and then it'll be nice and stiff and easy to feed through uh, color of your choice because it'll be cut off uh, you can use whatever quality you want I use the high quality stuff uh, again, I bought this at Dollar Tree, it cost me a whole dollar, and this is a clear coat. And then the other thing that's handy to have is some liquid super glue. Uh, the knots that you're going to be using inherently like to uh, unravel. So your choices are either to put like a drop of super glue on it to seal it, or melt it a little bit to make it seal it. It looks better with super glue. The other thing you'll need is a nice sharp pair of scissors to cut your cord with. These are Fisker's folding scissors. I like them because they fold up, they're easy to travel with. And they, I got them at Walmart for like, uh, I think it was $4 or something on sale. Boom. So you'll need those and they stay sharp a good long time. And the other thing you'll need is a knotting tool. That's one of these. It's a handle with a long thin thing with the groove here. These are from Our Lady Rosary Makers. Expensive, they're not. If you go to them and you buy uh, specifically for mission rosaries, uh, their things are cheap. These beads cost uh, 80 cents for a bag. A bag has 600 beads in it, which is enough for 10 rosaries. The crucifixes come in packs of, I uh, believe it's 50, and they're like 250. That's $2.50. In the same way with the uh, um, centerpieces, about the same cost. And these are $2.50, I believe. There's other things you can use for this if you don't have, want to get one of these. Uh, if you've ever noticed uh, an umbrella, for instance, the ribs on it are basically shaped like this. So if you have an umbrella with, that's broken, just cut off a piece of the rib, about say that long, get a dowel that long, drill a hole in the center, put that rib in it, and you've got exactly what you're seeing here, except it's homemade and doesn't cost you anything. The one thing all these rosaries have in common are the knots. Um, they use what's called a barrel knot. Um, simply because when it's tied, it looks kind of like a barrel. Um, now, the number nine cord is hard to see, so I'm going to use a bigger cord to demonstrate the knot. This is a number 36 cord, and that's the ones that were, uh, that's the cord that was used to make this particular all knotted rosary. Um, so it does come in handy. Um, so the way you make a barrel knot is with the tool. Now this tool obviously is too small to be used with this because the cord has, has to fit into the groove. Um, the one I used to make the, the all knot rosary, it's another high quality one that costs a lot of money. Also known as a stick pen or a big pen that I just removed the end of it, cut a slot right here and cut it lengthwise and I have this tool for a bigger cord. Uh, they say you can also use what's called a, uh, a net um, tool, a net repair tool, uh, to do that with. Um, but those cost money, and anyway, this is cheap, and it works well. So, the way you make a barrel knot is you take your tool. Now, honestly, I'm not sure if I'm doing this left or right-handed, so uh, feel free to flip it over if it's more comfortable with you. You take your piece, put it in the, put the cords in the um, slot. You'll have a long cord and a short cord. Um, the long cord, just leave it there because that's what all the rest of your rosary goes on. The short part of it will wrap around. When you wrap it, your first wrap goes around and make sure it crosses in an X. 
and then you wrap it four more times for a total of five wraps. It's two, three, and four. Then hold it, get this out of the way. Take the end of it. Here's where that stiff end comes in handy. And feed it down through this groove. Pull it out this end. And pull it snug but not tight. And then just gently work it off. And what you do is you're going to have a nice loose knot here. Um, so basically just get a hold of the cord, again we're working with the short cord, uh, and just start, you can use this and just start pulling. And if you push with your fingers while you're doing that, and you want to have a loop maybe a half an inch long or so, so this will move up. So you, if you just gently take this and work it up, you can put it to where you want it. And then again, pulling on the short cord, work it tighter, tighter, tighter. You can use these fingers or this one. Just roll the loop to make sure you keep it all parallel. Um, it looks better that way. When you get it where you want it, then pull it snug. Then what you do is you cut it off about that long and then you can either melt it with the lighter or put a drop of super glue in it to hold it. But make sure that knot is nice and tight. The other end, this is short but we're pretending it's a long one, um, basically makes it a slip knot. So if you're too far out, you can actually pull that through and make that little loop shorter um, and then like I said cut off this short end and either super put a drop of super glue right there or or just use your lighter and melt the end of it I'm not going to do that with this because I'm going to take it apart use it later and there you have it using that same technique You start your rosary with the centerpiece. Feed the cord through, it doesn't matter which way. Pull about six or seven inches off. Again, lay the cords in there with the long end in the groove and the short end is what you're going to be working with. Again, your first loop, make sure you cross or you pull it free. You pull it, well let me get this going again here. You take, take it, cross it over, pull it at a slight angle form your X. Then take it and wrap it. One, two, three, four more times for a total of five wraps. Get this out of your way. And then again, this is where you need the stiff end. I made this a little short, but you can always un unwind it and adjust it. And feed it through. The good thing about these, until you cut them and glue them or melt them together, uh, they can be taken apart and redone. So anyway, you keep feeding that through. 
it'll be better with a little longer until you can grab a hold of this end oh good I just shoved it back down in until you can grab a hold of this end pull it snug but not tight because you're going to have to slide it off and if it's tight you're going to have trouble with it and you might mess up the knot so again pulling on the short end you can work the knot up to where you want it and then once you get it there I like to put my fingers there so that it doesn't go any higher. Just gently, gently pull that short piece through. Again, you can roll it. When you get it where you want it, which would be about there. Then again, pulling on the short end and hold the end of the knot. Pull that nice and tight like that. And there you have your classic barrel knot. And then again, cut this end off about there. Maybe a eighth of an inch then put your drop super glue in there or melt it down if you use super glue you're going to have a nice little sharp piece sticking up so once the glue is dry go ahead and take your scissors and then you would snip that off right close like that and then you have that now I super glue mine so this is nice and tight and this is a different one from the one I just did because I had to let the, uh, the glue dry. So now we're ready to start feeding our beads. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make the loop, which is the big part of the rosary, and it's going to have uh, five decades or five sets of ten with a, an Our Father in between and with spacers. So what we do is we start with the spacers and we start with two of them. Oh, and another piece of equipment you're going to need is a mat, a beading mat. This is a beading mat. It's made out of um, foam, foam. It's real thin, but it's uh, thick enough to be soft, and then the beads won't roll around. You can use a uh, short nap uh, towel, or you can use a, a microfiber, you know, anything that you can lay your beads on so they won't roll around and roll off. So here we are again. We have our two spacers. Now we need to put 10 Hail Marys on it. <clears throat> and I like to count them three times actually. Just check, 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 double check. So I put, I count them as I put them on. So there's five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Then we finish off the decade with two more spacers. an Our Father bead, which in this case is the white one, or it can be the same color. And you can use any color beads you want. Red, white, brown, black, blue, purple, green. It doesn't matter. What matters most is that you just get it done. So, and after the 
Marys, we do two spacers, one Our Father and two more spacers. And then what I do is that group, I'll pull down to the end, and then I'll count it again. I use shorthand, so it's, I go two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, one, two. So that's correct. Remember I said check, check, and double check? Well, there's the check and the check. And then once you get to this point, you feed another 10 Hail Marys and just keep going. I'm, instead of making you watch me do this, I'm going to turn the camera off here for a couple of minutes and come back when I'm done with it. All right, here we are with the semi-finished product. I've got the, all the beads on here, the the 50 Hail Marys and the four Our Fathers and the um, spacers. You actually only need about 30 spacers. I just left, have a pile out. Now I said check, check, and double check, check, double check, and triple check. So here's the triple check. Now that it's complete, count them all up. There's two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, one, two, and so on until the end. The reason you want to do this is because you want to make sure you don't short one of the decades. Um, for instance, you don't want to get done with this and find out that back here on the second one, you've only got nine, nine beads. That means from here all the way to the end, you have to slide it all off, put another bead on there, and restring all those. So anyway, here we are, and we're ready to close off the loop. So we've begun and ended with two spacers, and then two spacers in between each father, our father and the uh, decade before, and a two on the decade behind. So now we want to finish off our loop. Again, feed the cord through. You notice you're going to have a lot. We'll get into that in a minute. You're going to have a lot left over. So feed the cord through. You want to keep them approximately even. But you also want to keep just a little bit of space in there so that one, people like to slide the beads when they do the rosary, and two, if they're too tight, you can't fold them up and put them in your pocket. They'll be straight. Um, for instance, if there's no space, then your rosary is going to go like that and it's not going to want to bend. So you need a little space, and that lets it just do whatever you need it to do. So let's go ahead and finish this. My apologies if I run off the screen a couple times. It, it's a small working area here. Okay, so I've got them approximately, I've left about uh, maybe a bead or so space in there. Uh, just for the, the looseness in it. And then the technique to finish this is the same as it was to start it. Put this in like so. Take your, your loose end, which is here. Make sure this gets down into here. Well, you might have to move out a little bit to make sure that that gets out of the way. And then again, Take your row, your string, your cord, there you go. Cross it over into an X. But don't do like I do and let it slip. Hang on to it. So let's X it again. There's the X. And then we wrap it one. Two, three, four more times. Hold it. Get this out of the way. Get that nice stiff end. Feed it through there. Whoops. It's not supposed to wrap around that. There you go. Pull it snug, work it off, and then gently 
work the knot tight. Trying to make sure you try to keep the wraps parallel so that it looks like a nice barrel. Sometimes they can get a little bunched up, not to worry about it. Now before you pull it really, really tight, line your knots up so that the loops are about the same size. And once you get that done, hold the knot and pull it up nice and tight. And there you have your the loop of your rosary with 50 Hail Marys and one, two, three, four Our Fathers. Then you cut this off again real short like that and then you put a drop of super glue on it but you don't have to do that right this second because we're still going to be working with this but don't forget to do it because as you see this knot's trying to unravel so it, it's gonna if you don't lock it up some way uh, the other way to do it is to use a layer and melt it down like that. That'll slightly melt the end. The only problem with that is it discolors it a little bit. But that'll lock the knot in. Okay. <clears throat> now the extra. We only actually need about 30 inches total with the concluding knots and everything to do one of these. Um, but like I told you, I said about 40 to 50 inches. And this is why because this extra cord is what we're going to make the loop with. I'm going to seal this end here. Unfortunately my regular lighter ran out of fluid so I'm using a what they call one of those windproof lighters so you got to be careful you don't burn up the cord with it. Alright there we go. So to finish it off with Feed the cord through the last hole on the centerpiece, which is the bottom one. Again, pull about six inches or so through. And again with the tool. Take the short end, cross it over, one, two, three, four. Get this out of the way. And feed this down through the groove. Snug it up. Work it off the tool. And again, Work the knot down, keeping the wraps parallel. Again, you can roll it with either hand, just depending which is more comfortable. And as you see, I've got the knot a little too long. You want the same length as the rest of them. So, like I told you, it's kind of basically a slip knot. So, just pull the other cord up until you get it the length you want it. Pull the knot snug. Pull it tight. Clip it. And this time I'm going to try not to turn the cord dark. And there's our knot. Okay, now we're going to start making the pendant. It's the same, except a little bit different. We still start with the two spacers. 
but instead of the Hail Marys, we put in Our Father. And then we put two more spacers. So it looks like that. Then we put the three Hail Marys on. These are the three that are left. And then we put two more spacers. The last Our Father. Two more spacers. And we end up with our pendant built. Our Father, three Hail Marys, and then Our Father. And we finish it off, so we feed the cord through the top of the crucifix. Use our tool. Lay that one in the groove, bring this one across. And again, we make our X. One, two, three, four. Hold it. Get these out of the way. And then feed this through. Take it, snug it down. Work it off. And again, work the knot, keeping it parallel. Get it to where we want it on the length. It should be the same as these. You can always do a comparison if you need to. Tighten it down. Clip it and seal it using either the lighter or the super glue, making sure to leave a little slack so that it'll fold up and so that the beads can be slid between the fingers. there you have your mission rosary if I can get it to cooperate there are five decades plus a pennant crucifix and a centerpiece all made with a cord and four knots and a bunch of beads actually 59 uh, oval beads and um, 28 spacer beads. And there's your, there is your mission rosary. This can be applied to, like I said, any other corded rosary. Um, you can use any kind of bead that you want to use. Um, just make sure you get the right kind for co uh, cords because they have a little bit bigger hole on them than the ones they use for uh, um, making a wire rosary. And then if you want to make one of these kind, this is a complete cord knotted rosary. Whoops.
I didn't seal my cross, so it, it's kind of working loose here. Um, cross, pendant. This takes the place of the centerpiece, and then a knot for each bead. This one's even worse, so you got to quadruple check this because it's a lot harder to correct if you uh, leave a bead out. So anyway, there it is. If you're on the site for the, uh, the cord rosary, then um, the channel also has the, the video to make this kind of a rosary too. So you know, check it out if you're interested in that. So meanwhile, thank you for watching this, and lots of luck with your rosaries.